According to police reports, the men were detained at around 23 hours after they were stopped by police in C Division. They were stopped after the officers noticed the vehicle bore no license plate. Based on information gathered from the two suspects, a third suspect was detained shortly after. That same day, an ex-cop was detained moments after he stole a vehicle belonging to a constable and crashed it in an attempt to escape. This rash of carjackings have led the police to believe that they are not random. Today, Crime Chief Acting Paul Williams spoke about the actions again a police force are taking to deal with carjacking rings. We were able to apprehend a young man over at West Demerara who is in a carjacking ring. Then we were able to arrest a person yesterday who also is in a carjacking um, car, um, car, right, ring. And then also, East Coast were able to apprehend two other persons. So we are looking at it very seriously, but you know, we are mobilizing a joint team because there's going to be a massive joint operation across the country and we're going to deal with this matter very seriously and robustly because these cars are going somewhere and we have to find out who are encouraging it because if they weren't markets, they would not have been stolen. Though this new trend of robbery is an epidemic in Guyana, the crime should be listed possible motives for these thieves. But then what is the motive behind the carjacking? Is it um, dealers are sending back people to retrieve these cars from people who own them? Is it indeed that these cars that are being um, hijacked are cars that are no longer allowed to be imported because of the restrictions now placed by GRA and as a result of that, those vehicles are now being dismantled for spare parts? You understand? The next thing too, is it that people are staging this own hijack, hijacks because they want to claim money from the insurance and so forth. So there are so many things that we are taking into consideration, but it is something that we are very concerned about. Williams noted that the majority of vehicles stolen are premiums and aliens. Nonetheless, all persons should do their best to avoid being an easy target. In terms of our stats, it has shown that the premium and the aliens, those are the vehicles that are being hijacked the most. Okay, but then when you look at it too, we cannot rule out to say that they would not come after other vehicles. Because what I see is that these are persons who are just moving around and looking for the opportunity to strike. And once the opportunity avails itself, there's where they strike on you. The crime chief also gave the public tips on how to protect themselves. On your way home, alert somebody that you're coming. So what the person can do, they can look out for you, they can come down and open the gate and aid your assist you in because most of the persons who have been attacked is persons who park, come out of the car to go to open the gate and there's where they've been stocked up and the car being taken away. So alert somebody, okay? Then also I'm asking you to be alert in terms of looking in your rear view mirror. Look to see who's trailing you, who's driving behind you because for somebody to really come all the way from Georgetown and meet you on the East Coast, it simply means that the person has to be behind you, very close proximity. So, be up, you know, just be observant, observe your surroundings because it is not something that we're encouraging, it's not something that we want. But we're asking for you now to be self-conscious because we want you now to be sensible and to exercise that sense of security for yourself. The police may not be there at the time, you understand me? But once we can be in a proactive mode to prevent this, this is what we will do. But on the other side of it, I'm asking you now to be alert, to be very vigilant, and we can be able to work on this together. Sources within the police force speculate that carjackings may be motivated by the recent legislation. The restrictions on cars older than eight years have created a high demand for vehicle parts. They believe the stolen cars are being sold for parts to unscrupulous buyers. Reporting for Channel 2 Headline News, I'm Esther Sobers.